So it's that time again where the season is soon to come to an end, and the very next season will be packed with new cosmetics for us to splurge out on. And let's be honest here, some of the new cosmetics released have been really worth their weight in Bright Dust. Which brings us to today's video of what is the best way to get Bright Dust. If you don't want to use silver and rather use Bright Dust, then you'll want the best method of doing so that will be quick, simple, and not take up your time. Here are a few ways you can achieve this for every season. To start, we have the tower vendors you can rely on for getting Bright Dust quickly. Zavala, Shax, and Drifter all have weekly challenges for you to complete, which is usually complete X amount of bounties and hand them in. Doing so will give you 120 Bright Dust per character on a weekly basis. If you do this for 9 weeks, for example, you can get 1080 Bright Dust per season. However, this can only be done once per week. You then have the additional bounties that you can pick up that will grant you around 10 Bright Dust per completion. You can only hold 5 at a time, but they can be repeated as many times as you like, as long as you complete them. Now the best method for this would be to play a mode you like, such as Strike, Gambit or PvP, and then complete them as you go. And then once the match is over, open up your Destiny Companion app, download more, and repeat as necessary. We next have Seasonal Challenges, which will be your main source of Bright Dust for each season. We next have Seasonal Challenges, which will be your main source of Bright Dust for each season. Some seasonal challenges will list Bright Dust as a reward, granting you anywhere from 75 to 300 Bright Dust. You can actually tell how much Bright Dust each challenge is grant based on the amount of XP that some of the challenges give. Challenge XP Plus, for example, gives 75 Bright Dust. A Challenger XP Plus Plus gives 150 Bright Dust. And Challenger XP Plus 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 gives a 300 Bright Dust. Completing a full week or seasonal challenges grants a large sum of Bright Dust, so it's a good idea to complete as many of them as possible, and completing up to 75 of them will grant you a large Bright Dust pile, giving you around 4000 Bright Dust in total. If you're fine with slogging through these, then this will be the best method of getting rich quick as you'll earn up to 10,000 by the end of the season. We next have the seasonal pass, which is what you get each season and is split into two groups, free and paid. If you prefer the free route, then you'll get around 7,500 Bright Dust from leveling up, while pay players can get up to 10,500 Bright Dust, so an extra 3,000 Bright Dust added. This of course is still a lot for many players, and I highly recommend you get the paid version instead, as that way you would do more extra stuff while playing. But of course, this is more down to you. And then lastly, we have seasonal activities where every few months, Eva Lavante will come to the tower with some seasonal rewards and activities for us to do. She will have weekly, daily and repeatable on her, with the weekly given 200 Bright Dust per character. Depending on how long this season will last, you can get around 1,200 Bright Dust per week if you do on each character. Keep doing this along with other bounties, and you will have enough to buy the seasonal cosmetics that get showed for that duration. So all in all, is there a best method to farming them? Yes, there is, and the best method to do so is to do your ritual vendors each week, and then do the seasonal challenges as they go, and then do the repeatable bounties with the game mode you find best. But what do you think? Do you have some ideas and methods of getting Bright Dust quicker? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments section, and help your fellow guardians out. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with more Destiny content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.